Greetings and welcome to a five-minute weekly scripture reveal Bible study dedicated introducing all to the word of God intending faith that comes from hearing, and that is hearing the good news about Christ. We are spiritual beings living in a physical world that have spiritual needs. The word of God is the only place to deal correctly with our spiritual needs. And here's the challenge. Non-believer, let God's word declare God's word to you, igniting faith within. And believer, let God's word boost God's word, increasing faith within. Today, we are doing part two of our study, Many Disciples Desert Jesus. The whole text is John chapter 6, verse 60 to 71. We will be starting at verse 63. But first, I want you to recognize a pattern. And God's transition pattern. And in the, the text, John chapter 6, you see the miracles, the attention grabbers, actions of God. You see the hard truth, God's reality, God's word. It's the conversation Jesus had with. Him. And that brought a decision time, accept or reject, person's responsibility to respond. John chapter 6, verse 63, New Living Translation. The Spirit alone gives eternal life. Human effort accomplishes nothing. And the very words I, I have spoken to you are spiritual and life. Now, verse 63, this statement gives us the key to interpreting Jesus' speech. His hearers had not understood the spiritual intent of his message. A fleshly interpretation of his words would yield nothing. One must apply a spiritual interpretation to spirit-inspired words. Human effort that begins with the desires and objectives of human wisdom accomplishes nothing. Instead, it is the spirit who gives eternal life. Jesus' very words are spirit and life. Therefore, we must depend on the life-giving spirit to appropriate Jesus' appre appropriate Jesus words. Peter was one such believer who came to realize that Jesus had the words of eternal life. John chapter 6, verse 64. But some of you do not believe me. But Jesus knew from the beginning which ones didn't believe, and he knew who would betray him. From the beginning of his ministry, Jesus knew that some of the ones following him were not believers in his true identity as the Son of God can't come from heaven. Jesus also knew from the first he would betray him. This was Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. For a moment, John interrupts with a brief word of explanation for his original readers and us. Jesus included Judas in every facet of his ministry, knowing all the time that he would not respond to the living truth. Jesus' treatment of Judas was consistent with his own character, despite that which Judas deserved for his unwillingness to believe. John chapter 6, verse 65, New Living Translation. And then he said, this is why I said that people cannot come to me unless the Father gives them to me. The signs in themselves, no matter how remarkable, are not completely convincing. They're not meant to be. They're only meant to draw. Some believe through seeing and others believe through not seeing but all require God's assistance. John chapter 6, verse 66, New Living Translation. At this point, many of his disciples turned away and deserted him. Jesus was saying tough things, and this caused many of his disciples to not follow anymore. This was not the 12. This was the others. Within sight of the kingdom of heaven, Privileged with a taste of the bread of life and watching the living water flow, they nevertheless walked away. In a short sentence, John captured one of the saddest moments in the ministry of Jesus.
Today we covered part two, Many Disciples Desert Jesus. You can find this teaching on YouTube.com, Channel Minister Panky. Thanks for joining and God bless.